When it comes to making color changes within Adobe Photoshop, there are a lot of different ways to do it. The thing is, it confuses many people because some of these tools are very hard to use. But I'm going to simplify this for you and give you one tool that will make color correction really simple and easy for you. And the tool that we're going to use is called Selective Color. The Selective Color and all the other adjustment layers are easiest to access from within the Adjustments palette, which is found under Window Adjustments. The other way that you can find selective color is to click on this black and white circle at the bottom of the layers palette. And when you do that, you can find selective color at the very bottom, which you can't see because it actually runs off the bottom of my screen right now. And the third way you can access the exact same adjustment layer is under layer, new adjustment layer, selective color. Now each of these three options will give you the same exact adjustment layer. However, there is one more way that you can access Selective Color, and that's going Image Adjustments Selective Color. However, I don't recommend that you actually use this one because this one is destructive. Once you use this way to make changes to the image, it is permanent, and you will not be able to make changes at a later point in time. I strongly recommend you use one of the other three ways I just showed you because those will allow you to make changes after the fact and work in a non-destructive workflow. So I'm going to start by coming over here and click on the Selective Color icon, and that's going to open up the Properties palette, which will change depending on the tool that we actually have selected. We're going to interact with this tool in two different ways. The first way is that we select the color that we want to change. So right here under Colors, it says Reds by default. I'm going to click on this, and now I have the option to select a variety of other colors. We have red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, magenta, whites, neutrals, and blacks. So let's just start with the default of red. Simply meaning this is going to affect the areas of this image that are red. And the change that we're going to make is going to depend whether we slide the cyan, the magenta, the yellow, or the black. So in this case, we have red selected. I'm going to grab the magenta, and I'm going to push it all the way up. See what it did? It took the reds from within the flesh tones and it boosted them all the way up so that it gives it this magenta pink hue. If I pull it the other direction, it takes out all of the magenta and turns it yellow. So now that you know by selecting the reds from the pull down is going to affect the reds of the image, simply all we have to do is adjust the color as desired. Now you see that change I just made? So without the need to create any extra masks, I simply selected the reds and made the adjustment. So let's keep going. As you can guess, if I select the yellows, well, what's going to happen? Well, it's going to grab the yellows. It's going to grab the yellow of the shirt as well as the yellow cast on her chin. If we select the greens, It's not doing too much, just a little bit in the shadow area that's coming from the yellow. And quite honestly, I'm kind of surprised it's actually grabbing that. But what else do we have here? Cyan's. Well, what do you think is going to be affected by this one? Absolutely, the wall, right? So once again, just by picking the right color to start with, we can often get away without creating any intricate masking. I also have blues, which once again is going to grab that wall. I have magenta. Well, what's magenta going to grab? Well, look at that. It only grabs that little bit of magenta as the artwork on her shirt. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to grab different colors and make simple changes. But now this tool is so easy to use because it works in a way that you're already familiar with. Just the same as it was when you were a kid using paints, by simply mixing magenta and yellow, it will give you an orange. By mixing cyan and yellow, it's going to give you a green. By mixing cyan and magenta, it'll give you a purple. Now, there is another way to actually use this tool. Instead of using colors, it can work with whites, neutrals, and blacks. So basically, these are only going to work using tonal range. And rather than seeing any colors, these tools work in black and white. So when you look at this image, think about it in terms of the grayscale. You have the whites, you have the grays, and you have the blacks. So when we go back to this tool, and we pick the whites, and I grab the magenta, I, I think you can guess what it's going to start to grab. That's right. Only the whitest areas are going to be affected. 
Now, if you have absolute white, which is zero color in it, there isn't anything that this can do to it. Notice like right here in the shirt, parts of it, some of it gets grabbed, but a lot of it doesn't. That's simply because there's nothing for it to even grab onto. There's nothing for it to do. But as long as there's some tone in that very white area, then that's what it's going to grab onto. When we go to neutrals, what's it going to affect now? Pretty much everything. You can see it's very easy for it to grab these neutrals. And so when combined with more advanced masking techniques, it's often easier to grab colors based off of the tonal range of neutrals as opposed to dealing with colors that may or may not be grabbing things that we do and do not want. And then the last one is blacks. And as you can guess, this is going to affect just the blacks. Now for me personally, this is my favorite tool of them all. I absolutely love the way that I can grab individual colors and I don't have to make a big production about it. Now there are definitely more skills and techniques involved with using this tool. And I do teach about it in my Photoshop Basic 1 course. And if you want to get good at Photoshop, you're going to have to learn how to master tools just like this one that are going to make you a better photo retoucher.